What's going on y'all? I wanted to share with you this trip that used a fluke limit from shore. You're going to see some interesting stuff that I hope will improve your shore fluking game. Now I'm fishing with a 7 foot Daiwa Rebellion medium power rod paired with a 3K Daiwa Sorte LT reel. I'm using a 15 pound J Bray X8 connected to 12 pound Seaguar STS floral. And I'm tossing a quarter ounce decoy jig head tipped with a 6 inch gulp jerk shad. Now I started my day pretty early. You can see the sun just rising over the horizon and I was fishing this pocket of water next to this rock jetty. And I'm about to change up because all I've been catching are shorts. Again, I'll be covering multiple areas today to call out a limit. Okay, I moved across this rock jetty and now I'm casting out into a trough that's separated by a sandbar about 200 feet out. I'm going to hook into a couple shorts really fast and lose a sizable fluke near the lip. You're going to see after how I'm going to catch her again. You see how that jig just popped right out? I normally have a high landing percentage, but I didn't set my drag quite right in this case and allow the fish to take some line while riding an outflow from a wave. But this is just round one. It's mono e mono, and with the right presentation, you can fool this fluke to bite again. Notice though that I'm going to change up the angle of my retrieve with each cast, and eventually the cast that was right up against the jetty along the lip got her to chase and commit.
you can tell how happy I was to finally land this fluke. Again, be patient. Change up your presentation and the angle of attack. Sometimes you need to wait up to 20 minutes for the same fluke to strike again. It depends on how traumatized they were from the initial hook set. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Tell you more. We come down here, you know, in the cold weather. Yeah. Get the peanut butter trapped. Oh, God, they're just walloping it, right? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, something like that. It's a fat one too. It's been loading up. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. Now, after a couple of casts, I move back across the jetty, and boom, on the very next cast. It's always worth revisiting areas that are producing fish, even if they are shorts. After this fish, I made a move as the bite slowed down. Alright, I arrived at this new beach and it has very different features than the first. At this beach, there is a more noticeable lip with a deeper drop off. The depth ranged 10 to 15 feet, whereas the beach I fished earlier was up to 10 feet deep. And if you notice, there's no hard structure like rock jetties or piles. When I fish beaches like this, it's definitely important to cover as much ground as possible. Alright, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.